going on? I didn't get the memo. Shit. <laughs> Oh man, this is crazy out here. Especially for us ladies. God, lead time's hard right now for the single ladies, ain't ladies? We on the internet looking for love. What kind of bullshit is that? <laughs> man, now y'all see y'all on Christian Mingles, meetblackpeople.com, go fish. I went to meetblindpeople.com and got me a man. <laughs> Two day turnaround, laugh if you want to. Whatever. I got a good blind man. I ain't got to worry about him eyeballing my girlfriends in the blue bathroom. I think I ain't never did that. Never, ever. I ain't, I ain't got to worry about him checking my texts and my emails. I put my phone anywhere, unlocked. He walked right on by. Not me, not me. Good blind man. We go everywhere together. He ain't got no dog and I took the cane, so it's my way or the highway. <laughs> Gonna try to break up with me, y'all talking about I'm too bossy. He don't wanna see me no more. You ain't never seen me. <laughs> I'm doing you a favor, Miss. Gonna break up with me at my house. He's still trying to find his way out. I wish you knew. It's your new girlfriend to show you how to get out of here. Sure shit. Should have sent me a breakup text like everybody else. That dumbass gonna do it at my house. You stupid. That's all we doing now. Text, 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 text. I ain't got a booty call in six months, but I got a dick text yesterday. <laughs> you ever get a dick text? Just gonna send me a dick in a text. What even nothing romantic about? Won't soon. <laughs> I cussed his ass out and said, hell yeah, that was one of the prettiest dick pics I ever seen. All one color curved to the side and hard. I'm like, bring this shit over. <laughs> I don't know who did you text, but it wasn't the one he brought over. I don't know who did. I don't know unless you photoshopped it or put a filter on it. That ain't the same thing. That shit ain't even hard, what you brought over. Somebody was hard on the way. Well, get back in the car. When that shit looked like this picture, that's when you pull in my driver. She come over here with no half hard. Oh. Hey, when it ain't working right, they always want us to do something about it, don't they? But there's something about it. My shit fine. I'm working. I'm ready. <laughs> I gotta get you ready too. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm like, you gotta do something about it. I, I started singing to it. Oh, get up, fuck. <laughs> He wanted some head, but he gonna get some hand if you come to me. I give you a whole bunch of hand. And I'm gonna do that hard so you don't ask me no more. <laughs> Try that. They'll snatch it from you. Give me some. <laughs> They're gonna give you a class. See, I'm doing this here. You're doing great. Keep doing what you're doing. We're almost there. We're almost there. Right. Oh. They got a million excuses too when it ain't working right. I got something on my mind. Well, here, let me put something on your face. Put it on your mind. I got you. Teamwork. You don't get to this. You don't get to this. Get your ass out of here. That's my shit. Get your ass out of here. I'm telling you, if it wasn't for good dick, I'd have gave up on y'all asses. There's some good stuff out there. You ever had it so good it made you cry? <laughs> Me either, but I heard about it. Oh, shit. I laughed more than I cried. I did a lot more laughing. Oh, shit was tickling and popping out. That was funny. <laughs> I ain't even cry. I laughed at that little thing. Whew. Cause there's some black men with little dicks out there. Let's keep it real. All y'all ain't got no big ones. That's a lie. <laughs> I like the good ones though. They give you 110% every time. They so cute. <laughs> they give it all. They give you they all. But they got them little bits. They try to beat it up. You feel that? You feel that? No, but your balls. Oh my God. They <laughs> Sharpie out and mark off. Don't go past that. Right? <laughs> I don't want nothing I gotta 
drink a bath and Epsom salt for three days. Oh, shit. I had to go to the mall, man. <laughs> Matter of fact, if your pain comes anywhere near your knee, you need to cut it. <laughs> that thing is way too big. <laughs> Y'all be in denial too, thinking y'all dig bigger than it really is. Pulling out them bags and big sales. What you gonna do with that? Put it on your leg, cause it ain't gonna fit your dick. I mean, no, this is my size. No, that's not your size. See that air bubble right there? Yeah, it's supposed to be dick where that bubble is. You're like two bubbles shy of a man. You need to try that shit in the Balls in there too. I <laughs> to a regular size. Oh my god. She's fucking stupid. Y'all so silly. Y'all so silly. Oh and my god. It's hard for the single she lady. Put I your balls in there too. Mm. A, a woman. Where y'all at besides the one that was up here? I don't know. Mm. There's some more in the house. I like lesbians. They cool. I like lesbians. Mo dick for me. Keep doing you, girl. <laughs> Way out. We got enough fucking competition. Mm -hmm. Everybody want the black man. Everybody. Mm. The Filipino, the Mexican, the Asian chick. Shit, the black man want the black man. We can't have <laughs> Stay in your lane, nigga. Oh, shit. I'm sick of these fine fags. That's the problem I got. Why can't Flavor Flay be gay? <laughs> Exactly. Play, play. I think that's some bullshit. What is going on? What is going on? Oh my God. Where the hoes at? Where y'all at? I'm on the show. I know y'all think. I'm shot now. I'm trying to fuck somebody on the way out of here. Who said where the hoes at? Hey, hoes. They have messed up everything. Pussy should be on the stock market right now, but no hoes going around giving somebody head because they bought them fucking nachos at intermission. <laughs> <laughs> head is for your man only, ladies. Hello. Don't clap, because it ain't no everyday thing. Slow your own. <laughs> head is for special occasions. You, know? you want to show gratitude and appreciation. That's when you give head. You want to say thanks. <laughs> Walk out, shit all sprinkled on their pants. Oh, and act like they spilled the drink. That's peeping. That's a sprinkle. Hennessy is splash. You ain't fool nobody. It's a pee on your damn foot. When you put that in my mouth, I don't think so. A lot of them don't wipe in the back either. Grown men with boo boo stains. In the building tonight. I took all the toilet paper out the men's bathroom. I ain't been a complete check. So somebody shit on Google. Somebody shit on Google. Oh, they trying to act like it ain't there. This you. They acting like they laughing. They itching. Who the itch? That might be good. I don't understand what y'all get them brown marks in the back of your drawers. Don't tell me that was sweat. What you sweat? Chocolate? <laughs> I know boo boo from Jocelyn. That's boo boo right there. I had candy bar falling in your drawers. That's boo boo. I don't know why y'all just don't wear panty liners, my damn son. I had a boo boo. I had to wear a panty liner every day. Look how quiet they got. They think about it. Catch a panty liner. 
dandelions tomorrow. I've been wanting this one. Somebody yeah. gonna try it out. You know, yeah, man, she ain't lying. That, that dandelion shit worked. I know it did. I know it did. Y'all be something else. I love men, but y'all be lying so much. Y'all need to stop with that bullshit. Taking these pills, lying about it. I ain't took shit. You took something. Yeah. You had all the 10 minutes last week. We going on an hour and five, and you ain't came yet. Oh, you took some. I went to sleep and woke up, and this nigga still laughing. My kid's about to get up in 10 minutes, so you got five to come and five to go. I'll tell you that. And I don't know what you took, but whatever it is, you break that shit in half before you come back over here. Get off the man. Get off the man. Get off the man. Oh, I love me some men, though. Give it up for all the men in the house that came out for the ladies. Right? What do men that like women all the time? Where y'all at? Where y'all at? There ain't a lot of them. Look at them. About five of the niggas in here. It's 300. And two of them clapping. Yeah, the rest of them like booty every once in a while. Ow. I don't play that. Uh -uh. This is an outie. Oh shit, go in there. <laughs> they try to stick their finger in and see if you'll know it. Excuse me, I see, I feel it, I feel it, I feel your finger. I'm gonna farm on that motherfucker if you don't know it. Get out of here, get out of here. I don't play that bullshit. Uh, what we gonna do with y'all asses? I'm telling you, if it wasn't for that good dick, out of here. You ever had it so good, it may, uh, you, have, you, have, you know good dick ain't got no car. That's the only thing fucked up about good dick. You gotta go pick it up. <laughs> You be mad, but you be driving. This is the last. You go to Baltimore to the police one. Yeah, you drive to Baltimore for some good dick. I send a Uber for that nigga. Make sure that. Good dick got to ride all day, every day. I just don't like a whole bunch of talking after I done came. I don't want to hear your personal problems from the day. Right talking about he didn't come yet. Well, come back tomorrow. <laughs> Better get yours first, ladies, because once them balls go flat, that's the end of that. It's going to be a while. I might as well cut on law and order or some shit. It's going to be a minute before that thing start working again. Oh, my God. I hate when it ain't working. I hate when it ain't working. Especially when y'all call us up talking about how hard it is and shit. Nigga, where's the hard dick on the phone you was talking about? Is that the house? What? I could have came to you if you was going to leave the hard dick at the house. <laughs> I have to come over here. I would have came. I would have came to you. Shit. What are we going to do with y'all asses? We ain't giving up. There's too many men out there. There's too many men for us to get. It's, it's a damn shame. It's like five to one, ladies. We sharing niggas. A lot of women sharing a man. Even who's sharing in here? I know somebody's sharing. I don't play that. I'm going to share a man. It's if I can have a half with the dick in the wallet. Other than that. <laughs> I don't want the part to talk all the goddamn time to eat that shit to your damn self. I don't want to dig in the wallet part. Oh my god, oh my god, what we gonna do with y'all? Where the couples at? Any couples out there by around the clock? Look, the women about to break their arm off. The men had to look around. Oh. <laughs> they stupid like that. They don't even know when they're in a relationship. <laughs> They'll screw you 400 times and introduce you as their friend. This is my friend, friend. They, I ain't never put my leg up for no friend. That's not one time ever. We was all over the sink last night. I don't do that with friends. We go a relationship. A lot of women desperate to be in a relationship just so they can say they got a man. Times ain't that hard, ladies. If he ain't treating you like a queen, keep it moving. Next. Find you another Play that in abusive relationships. Oh, I wish a man would hit me. I ain't never got beat unless we was playing spades or dominoes. No bullshit, nigga. Oh, yeah. I got slapped the shit out of it one time. <laughs> I know a beat from the slapped shit out of it. My face was tingling and my feelings were hurt, but my eye wasn't black. I never got beat. I got shook the shit. Nigga, shook the shit. He just wanted me to understand. That's all right. <laughs> Understand everything about everything now. I had to wear his neck brace for like three days. I wasn't black. I got dragged one time. One time. He was ready to go and I wasn't. I'm always ready. Now, you ready? I'm ready. I got you. 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 Y'all know I'm lying. I'm a 911 caller, my damn self. 
You talk too much shit to me. I'm already dialed 91. I'm waiting on that one more word. <laughs> you just start with a B. That's it, but about to get out of here. Oh, that's when I start talking shit. Oh, you about to get the fuck out of here. Mm -hmm. I ain't going nowhere. Oh, yeah, your escort's on the way. Trust me. <laughs> You got a whole carload full of folks coming to get your ass out of my <laughs> Fellas, before I get out of here, I just want to say y'all got to learn how to talk to the ladies. Y'all don't know how to talk. Y'all will stare us down for an hour and still come back with some stupid shit. <laughs> so, so why are you looking so mean? Well, I was hoping it would keep your ass from coming off. <laughs> Guess I'm going to have to fart next time. <laughs> Oh, Miss the good old days. Remember when you could give a guy the wrong number in the club? Yeah, he laughed all the way home. Now them niggas call you in the club. What's your number? Uh, okay, you're gonna be blocked as soon as I get to the parking lot. I ain't gonna answer. I ain't gonna answer. Your new name in my phone is No Answer. Do not answer. Don't answer. Fuck your ass. All we doing is texting, and a lot of people couldn't even text. Ten years ago, you couldn't spell, you couldn't text. <laughs> These smartphones, boy, they real smart. You sound out the first two letters, it'll give you three or four choices. What, this, that, the? What you trying to say? What you trying to say? <laughs> oh, these phones smart now, but you still gotta know how to read, because you gotta send a text. You gotta know how to read. Because that autocorrect will destroy your life. <laughs> you better look at that message before you push that send button. I'm texting my boo the other night, bring me some. I don't know how he's that duck, but that's what he showed up in my house with. <laughs> <laughs> I said, bring me some dick. <laughs> Could you put that duck in the kitchen and bring that duck? I'm going to bring you off something special for finding a duck. Because <laughs> <laughs> you guys have been great. I'm That's what she remind me of. Yes. She do remind Yay. me of her. Yes. Put your hands together one more time. Oh, shit. Are y'all having a good time tonight? Hell yeah, yeah nigga. Yeah. That's the whole fucking point. Don't get, don't get a damn twisted bitch. Mm -hmm. Everybody out here want to laugh, okay? So we about to get our laugh on. With somebody that I'm totally in love with. Ew, ew, ew. You know, every now and then I want to sleep with a woman. Greg, okay with it. <laughs> Y'all get up on your feet and give a warm, warm welcome. Now, this lady, I really want to sleep with her for real. I'm not even playing. Like, she really got everything that I want in a woman. She big, round, dark. <laughs> yes, God, honey. Put your hands together. You know her from the real. Yeah. Shit. 
I don't know why I keep it. What the fuck? Bitch, y'all don't understand that. Where my black people at? Black people, let me hear you. Black people out there, let me hear you. Old fried chicken eating asses, green cornbread, hog moths, watermelon. Where my Latinos at? Latinos! <laughs> well, my white people, white people, where you at, white people? Oh, shit. One of the crazy ass. <laughs> oh, mayonnaise eating asses. <laughs> Everybody, the white person in your house. <laughs> they always ask me, where's the mayonnaise, honey? <laughs> I got miracle with mayonnaise. That's not fucking you. Hold on, let me go get some mayonnaise for this bitch. <laughs> Any Asians? Asians? What the fuck? <laughs> where they egg roll eating asses at? They on that baccarat, that's where they playing. That baccarat table. <laughs> yeah. I don't like no damn game. You gotta do math and algebra. They got more papers and writing shit. Oh, what the fuck sure. are y'all doing? They're playing cards. <laughs> Sorry, I'm sorry. Skinny bitches. Where the skinny bitches at? Skinny bitches. Always sit down and cross their legs. <laughs> I haven't crossed my legs since 1992, y'all. I crossed my legs. I cut off all my circulation and killed myself. And she died. She crossed her legs. She got my legs. I don't hate skinny people. I just want skinny people to leave fat people alone. Y'all always fuck with us. That's a dumb ass question. You gonna eat all of that? Yes, I am. <laughs> I mean, it's yours if you don't finish. <laughs> I thought you was on a diet. That was two hours ago. Shut the fuck up. Fat <laughs> people, let's eat shit. all the vegetarians. Don't they get on your nerves, vegetarians? <laughs> Damn, we won't eat the vegetarians. You're special because you're full of fucking vegetables. Fuck you, vegetarian. <laughs> I got invited to a vegetarian barbecue. Thank you. That don't even sound right, vegetarian barbecue. <laughs> I went to see oh, what the shit. hell is putting on the grill. Oh, it was a waste of fucking time, I'll tell you that. <laughs> that corn on the grill and couscous and tofu. What the fuck is couscous? It tastes like chicken. It tastes like shit. I eat. <laughs> you know it tastes like chicken? Pork chops taste like chicken. Pork chops taste like chicken. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you see, we've been on TV. Everybody got a fucking opinion about shit. That's why I support Nene Lee's. I support this comedy show because she's trying to do something and bring something different to you and show you that women can be fun. When I get on TV, people say, you are the biggest person on television. Don't you feel uncomfortable? No. Let me tell you something. I've been used to being big than everybody. I've been big all my life. I've been big since preschool. In preschool, I was looking at the teacher eye to eye, me and her. <laughs> Uh, other kids down here, me and her having a stare on <laughs> Good morning, Miss Jenkins. I am sitting down. <laughs> big, big old tall girl, you know, the big ass head. I was so big during picture day, they put me way in the back of the class for the picture. I didn't even look like a member of the class. I look like a pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> and I was so big with this look on my face, they thought I was special, so they put me in a special class. <laughs> you special kids, kick my ass, y'all. You ain't had your ass kicked, just been kicked by a special kid. They had me changing their diapers and putting on their helmets. Get me out of this fucking class. <laughs> and I grew up big and poor. It is hard growing up big and poor, because at the age of eight, I'm have to wear my mama's work clothes. <laughs> your fucking flaws. Don't let nobody make you feel bad if you got a fucking flaw. If you got a big ass nose, do side profile. Fuck them motherfuckers. 
<laughs> Don't like make you feel bad. You learn to embrace your fucking flaws because the flaws are what God gave you to be different and unique. That's what you gotta understand. And that's why I'm always speaking up for people. Big girls, let me tell you something. Y'all underestimate big bitches. Let me tell you something, big bitches. We eat and we fuck. That's what we do, okay? <laughs> Two boyfriends, one half my age, one double my age. I call it future and past. <laughs> future, that's the young one. You know, it's easy to take care of the young one. Give them an Xbox and a juice box. They can live together. Try to get in the corner, get high score. They play for 18 hours. They can get it. Get it. <laughs> past, that's the old one. You know, that's the old play. Ooh, it's hard taking care of them old ones. You gotta get them. They. Diabetes medication, <laughs> check their blood pressure, keep up with their appointments to the doctor. <laughs> My old man, his name is Woodrow Jenkins. You know that's old. Really Where the fuck you get that name, Woodrow? That's the last Woodrow right there. <laughs> I think he only date me because he think I'm Aretha Franklin. That's it. <laughs> Embrace your flaws, DC, okay? Let me tell y'all something else, too. Thank y'all for watching The Real. It comes on out here at 12 Woods on Fox. We appreciate each and every one of y'all, because let me tell y'all something. It's hard getting a television show. Ask me. You need to been doing TV over 10 years. I've been doing it, and it's hard. Sherry been on, you know what I'm saying? They just don't give talk shows to people. Right? And I'm t when they first gave us the real, they said, we're going to give y'all some test episodes. They wouldn't even give us a full season. They said, we'll give you a test episode, put us in seven cities and see how it works. And that was four years ago. And they said, we're going to, uh, they called me like in June, right? And they said, we're going to do the test episodes in July. But before we do that, we're going to send you some slim fast shakes, see if you can lose real weight. I said, send a shake, send shakes. <laughs> Those shakes go good with hamburgers, french fries. <laughs> Yes, bitch. <laughs> I ain't lost no weight. We got a season five pick up three Emmy nominations. Fuck what you heard. Do you and be you. Yes. So far. Don't let nobody change you, boo, unless you want to change, okay? Yes, exactly. The person I have to thank for me being on daytime television is Ellen DeGeneres. I love me some Ellen. Ellen, oh, okay. Shit. okay. If you need some money, write the Ellen show. Ellen give away $20,000 a week to people in need. Just make up a fucking story. You know? <laughs> <laughs> your knee fell off and your toe was hurt. <laughs> she likes shit like that. Right in my toe, Ellen. She will have you on the fucking show. Give you a $20,000 check. I seen this shit. I was her rotating guest DJ for a year, right? You know what I'm saying? And I'm telling you, this is how much money Ellen makes. Let me tell you, I ain't never seen Ellen drive the same car. Dang. That's how much money she made every day. It's a different car. It's a Porsche. It's a Benz. It's a Bentley. And she could keep the money. And she told me, Lonnie, you know what? A lot of people are in need. So if they write me, and if I can help them, I'll try to help them. And that's why I fucks with some Ellen, okay? Because she's a good girl. I that's like what's up. People come at me about her being a, a, a lesbian. How do you feel about Ellen being a lesbian? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I ain't got no problem. We, we got a lesbian here on the fucking show, you know? What the fuck Melanie said? It's more men for me, so fuck you bitches. Okay. It's more dick for us. They like the dick, we like the lick. She said about it. I'm working with Shaquille O'Neal, y'all. I like Shaq. Shaq is a good friend of comedy. You can get those Shaq is over seven feet tall. So when you stand in front of him, all you see is his dick. That's it. <laughs> get your dick out of my face, Shaq. I'm gonna tell you something else, Shaq. You can't fit in that damn Buick. Stop telling the mayor if you can fit in that fucking car. right now because somebody needs to hear this. You may think that they are they happy because they got money. Money don't make you happy, y'all. That's right. Now. You don't believe me? Look at Kanye mess right now, okay? Yes. If you are okay in your life, you keep concentrating
concentrate, you keep doing what you need to do, you will be fucking fine. But do not admire these fucking celebrities. Cause I need a lot of the cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. That's right. <laughs> and some of them are nice, but they got problems just like me and you. I was interviewing the uh, actor Morgan Freeman, you know, actor, <coughs> yeah. Nice man, he fell asleep in the middle of the fucking interview. <laughs> I love the blacks. What are we, a singing group? 
goofy ass. <laughs> Don't let this shit worry y'all. This is called the democratic process. Y'all, you have a fucking city, D.C., that is where the founding forehead fathers developed this for three forms of government. He is not king. He did not dominate over us. Y'all will take y'all ass out and vote. I know that right there. So now y'all didn't vote. Next time you're going to vote, you're going to vote for everything. America, I know you're going to vote for everything. It's time to vote. It's time to vote. You know who I feel sorry for about this whole thing, you know? Because we'll be all right. Who would think? I'll tell y'all something about black people. We don't care. We're not materialistic people outright. We know how to survive. We ain't got a lot of money. We know how to budget our shit. We know how to get through, you know, hard times. When we have good times, we party like we're doing tonight. That's what yes. we always do. So you don't have to worry about us. We got to worry about other motherfuckers that don't know about when they shit is poor and they got to put some beans on the pot and eat that for a week. They, we, them motherfuckers, we got to teach. You know? Basic people, I feel sorry for, but I really feel sorry for Melania Trump. Because she ain't signed up for this shit. She did. She's she over there in Slovakia somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get out of here. Put her ad and she fuck it. Let me just take a chance. She didn't know he would be president of the United States. This is how life, you that's why you gotta be careful. She didn't know. Now she's the first lady. She gotta read to the kids in that hard ass accent. You see her from the East End Road, she was trying to cut it. Detroit. I was raised in the projects. You couldn't tell me that I grew up in the crack era and that I would be on stage entertaining beautiful people in Washington, D.C. If you got a goal, if you got a dream, one person needs to hear this tonight, okay? If you try to do something, you keep doing it. If you try to open up that daycare, you trying to get married, you trying to graduate, you keep fucking doing it. Because if I can do it, you can do it. I was an engineer. I was the worst engineer in the United States of America. <laughs> Fucking career path, and I'm on a fucking stage, okay? Right. And you can fucking do it. Don't give a fuck up until your last breath, you don't give up. Yeah, all right. Yeah. They're trying to say we can't get along, we love fucking people, you know? Let me tell you something, white people, about black women. Black women, y'all want to try to, you know, ignore us. We are some of the most loving, giving people on the planet. than anybody else. We don't just say you, your name. We look at something we like about you. That's how we compliment. Yes, bitch hair. Yeah. <laughs> yes, new shoes. New shoes. This is new shoes. <laughs> I said that shit when you came out the house. Try to understand other cultures. Understand other cultures. Understand other nationalities. Y'all on a fucking computer? Pick up the computer and understand other nationalities, and you will see that racism cannot exist. We are all one. Look at the different people in this room. We can all get along. Don't let them tell you we can't. Don't let them tell you we can't get along. Why 
can one thing. If there's ever injustice, first person to speak up, not afraid to speak up, are white women. White women, y'all will speak up even when y'all need to speak up. Y'all just fuck it. Y'all will just say it. You ever go to the grocery store? There's only one checkout open, but there's 15 people in that checkout line. First person to speak up is that one white woman. She is mad as hell. Or arms <laughs> <laughs> she don't cut, she use adjectives. This is unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> amazing. Amazing. I put some one jar mayonnaise and look at this line. <laughs> mayonnaise. They love some motherfucking mayonnaise. want to get the manager, she take over the whole fucking store. Excuse me, sir, how long have you been in line? Let's say 15 minutes. Sweetie, he's been in line for 15, so you're going to be in line for 10. I'm going to be in line for 5. Everybody got their time? Yes, white woman. Become the manager. What's the problem? The problem is, he's been in line for 15 minutes, she's been in line for 10, I've been in line for 5. What are you going to do about it? And we all walk out of there with free shit. Thank you, white woman. was hurt and I went to my friend Sue Kim. I said, Sue Kim, I stomach hurt. She said, hold on. <laughs> she said, back her yard, she started chopping down a whole fucking tree. <laughs> she drove the whole tree into the kitchen, put the whole tree into a blender. <laughs> she gave me a cup, she said, drink of this. I was drunk and drinking and I was shitting all over the place. <laughs> Rocks and leaves coming out my ass. Fire, but I felt bad. <laughs> That's who I love are all nationalities, Asian people, because Asian people got hustle, especially Chinese people. God bless the Chinese people, because a Chinese food buffet. You know, any Chinese food buffet in this country, they will make whatever you ask them to make. Yeah, now let me get out that restaurant without buying something. So I go in there and I always fuck with them. Hello, Jim Kim. <laughs> we got some shrimp fried rice. We got shrimp fried rice here, though. <laughs> we got some egg for y'all. We got egg for y'all. <laughs> I fuck with them. I'm gonna say you got some barbecue cornflakes. Barbecue I'm so sorry if there are any Asian people here. This is so racist. I've seen it. She did this before. So I beg for you. Skinny bitches, look around. Make sure they, they ain't left the back rack table. They ain't here. Cool that for the Asian people, y'all. Let me tell you something about the Asian culture. Out of all the nationalities, Asian people work the best in groups. You ever see a whole group of Asians coming up in here? They're about to buy this fucking place, all right? They got money and cameras. They looking around.
Yeah. Get it out to your house.